are excited or enthused, it's that when we recognize that what's going to make this a spiritual adventure is that whatever we're going to do, however we're going to lead, whatever we're going to go into, it's going to require learning. <coughs> we're going to need to learn as we go. And we're going to need to become people who are committed to a lifetime of learning. Or as some education educators put it, of unlearning, learning, and relearning. Of continue, of there must be, it's a requirement to learn as you go. And the second is that it results in loss. That what we're dealing with whenever you lead people and not just manage them or steward them is you are having to be committed to your own learning and you must be able to navigate and manage other people's loss. And for some of us, let's be really clear, the biggest first loss is that we have to keep learning. Many of us believed when we got to this stage, to this place in life, when we graduated from seminary, when we got a promotion at a job, when we became the senior pastor, or we were entrusted with the organization, or somebody put us in charge, that our days of having to learn were over. Now we get to be the experts that are able to lead our people. We get to use our expertise. We get to use our master's degrees and have mastery. Or we have our doctorates so that we become teachers of other people. And one of the hardest things to acknowledge for most of us is that the very act of needing to continue to learn is for most of us a loss. 